One, two, three, go. Is my hat looking good? My name is Anthony McGregor, and I'm half Filipino by blood, but I have never been given the opportunity to fully experience my Filipino side. Young, wild, and free. So I've come to the Philippines to immerse myself in the Filipino culture. I'm here to meet the people, experience the traditions and the nature, because I want to know what it's like to feel 100% Filipino. I'm super excited to start my journey throughout the Philippines, and this will be my first destination. Let's go. Welcome to Dumaguete, the capital of Negros Oriental, and the jump off point for the rest of my journey here. The reason that I'm here is because so many people have told me that Negros Oriental is the best place for me to experience my Filipino side. So I'm here to find out if it's true. I started my trip in the luxurious Atmosphere Resort, offering a wide range of high-end villas and amenities. Today, Atmosphere has offered to guide me to what is described as the underwater paradise of Negros Oriental. I just arrived in Apo Island, 45 minutes off the coast of Dumaguete. It's a marine sanctuary that's known for two things, scuba diving and massive sea turtles. These are two things that I've always wanted to experience, and today I finally get to tick them off my bucket list. My tour guide Jack showed me how to use a panyapak. We call this one a panyapak. So the locals here, they use this one as made out of uh, PVC. Yeah. And then, many purposes also. Huh? You can slice vegetable. Yeah. You can uh, barbecue. <laughs> so, can I try it? Yes. I feel like a fish. Yeah, you can swim faster with that one. Yeah. Time to go look for some turtles. I snorkeled in the shallow waters for just 30 minutes and I was able to spot eight sea turtles, much more than I anticipated. After trying multiple times to get a photo with the turtles, I finally managed to get one that was worthy. Because of the marine sanctuary, the fauna on Apo Island is alive and well. Open, green plate. Yep. But to see its true potential, I had to go deeper. After this, I was starving, and Atmosphere had prepared an onboard buffet featuring international cuisines. So, what have you prepared for us today? Uh, this one is a pizza, calzone, we do have also jalapeno poppers. Oh, what's inside? It's a jalapeno and mozzarella cheese. Nice. This one in our pizza also, I need. Yeah. It's a salami, palm, bacon, onion, bell peppers, and tomato salsa. And this one is a fish cake. Fish and our big salad. Nice. Yeah, there's so many choices. Which one is the best? It's a pizza house I need. Ooh, set up. Kain tayo? A feature unique to Apo Island is the shoreline and its rock formations. Behind me is Baluarte Rock, the icon of Apo Island.
After the activities of today, I was exhausted. The clock had just hit 6 p.m., which meant it was the perfect time to relax, drink a cocktail, and listen to live music. While socializing with the other guests, I was given the opportunity to meet Matt, the CEO of Atmosphere. Nice to meet you. I'm Tony. Nice to meet you, Tony. I'm so Matt. I have some questions for you, Matt. Sure. So how long has Atmosphere Resort been running for? So we opened in 2008, okay. uh, in November 2008. So this year we actually celebrate our 10th year anniversary. Oh, wow. So we will be having a big party. Um, and before that, me and my wife were living in Boracay. Oh, wow. And that's where we dreamt of something like this. And we found Darwin and Dermageddy and set up Atmosphere 10 years ago. Wow. Yeah, that's amazing. Okay, and uh, what sets Atmosphere Resort apart from other resorts here in Negros? Honestly, I think we put a lot of time and training into the people. And I think our service level and the people and the staff are just incredible here. And we really focus hard on that. Um, we have a lot of staff small amount of rooms and we just really focus on our service and I think on the coast that's what really sets us apart to be honest okay yeah good answer yeah okay, thanks a lot for your time you're welcome cheers cheers the only thing better than one lake is two Here in the municipality of Sibulan, you can find the Twin Lakes. It's home to around 200 different bird species, six of which are endemic. Here, flying a drone is bow wow. Bow wow meaning it's not allowed. Some birds might think it's an intruder and even attack. It's also a simple way of respecting the natural habitat of the birds. Balinsasayao and Danao Twin Lakes showcase crystal clear waters that reflect the emerald tones of the surrounding forest. For some, its beauty is considered prenuptial photo-worthy. The Twin Lakes is so beautiful that a couple even came to take wedding photos here. It's Instagrammable. Boating across the lake is a slow and relaxing activity where you can enjoy the sounds of nature. Paddling looked like hard work and I thought I would lend my kababayan a hand. Salamat! Ingat! After a short jungle hike, I reached an elevated panoramic viewpoint. This is the perfect spot to enjoy the conjoint beauty of the Twin Lakes. Wow! You can see both lakes here. There and there. This lake is 840 meters above sea level and that one is 830, so there's a 10 meter gap. A go-to location in Negros Oriental is the forest camp in the town of Valencia. Because of both the naturally cool climate and its paradise-like surroundings, it is famously known for being a family weekend getaway. The camp is home to a wide range of activities, catering to those looking for relaxation, excitement, and everything in between. The forest camp is also home to a skate park in the middle of a jungle. I met the local skaters and was surprised to see them skate effortlessly barefoot. They let me borrow their board, which gave me an opportunity to relive my teenage days. <laughs> Made it! <laughs> so I haven't skated in almost five years, and I landed a kickflip, so I'm super happy. My next stop was the sulfur vents of Valencia. Huge fumes of sulfur and white steam are seen escaping the mountain and are the cause of streaks visible on the mountain's surface. Included with the view is the strong, pungent smell of sulfur. If you can hold your breath long enough to take a photo, it's definitely worth it. Another great find within the town of Valencia is the magical Pulang Bato Falls. The water from the falls emits a red, effervescent glow, caused by the presence of natural red rocks. Pulang Bato Falls is blessed with cool and refreshing waters and an atmosphere of peace. The most exciting way to experience Negros Oriental is to visit Tejero Highland Resort and Adventure Park, where you can go waterfall hunting on an ATV. After a short orientation, I was ready to go. I can't wait to get to the waterfalls. This machine is a beast. Check it out. Woo! Let's go! Driving through Negros Oriental gave me a taste of the Filipino provincial lifestyle. 
I took every single opportunity to say hi to the locals and was greeted back with waves of heartwarming smiles. Zoom zoom! This is how you experience the real Filipino countryside. The ATV track led to a hiking trail, which marks the starting point of a steep journey down to Casaroro Falls. The hike itself is a journey, and despite the steep trails, many tourists take up the challenge in hopes of being mesmerized by the sheer immensity of the falls. Me included. <laughs> Woo! Wow, Casaroro Falls is much bigger than I anticipated. Check it out! The falls stand at an outstanding 100 feet. What's impressive about the falls is the loud thunder that the water makes when it drops into the basin below. After the hike, the only thing growling louder than the falls was my stomach. And there's no better place to feed a hungry stomach than the famous Lab Ass. Lab Ass is a family-owned restaurant with years of experience in culinary arts. They are known for serving the most delicious seafood in Negros, offering wide assortments of unique delicacies. Having dinner with Sandy Fuentes gave me the chance to ask some questions regarding the origins of Lab As. Thank you so much for the dinner, it was delicious. You're most welcome. Uh, I have a few questions, so first of all, what does Lab As mean? Lab As means fresh, uh, pertaining to seafoods. Uh, Lab As is a seafood restaurant. My father started it in 1988. Um, we pride ourselves in uh, having the most variety of seafoods, being the, the food destination in Dumaguete. And what's your special dish? We have quite a few, from oysters to crabs to lapu-lapu, uh, okay. lobsters as well. Okay, cool. yeah. Thanks a lot. After stuffing myself at Labas, a stroll through the city was next on the menu. I'm here now at the Dumaguete Boulevard, enjoying the nightlife. There's a cool sea breeze and entertainment for the night. A nearby dinner option lies in Plaza Escano, home to many restaurants that cater to a variety of tastes. I wanted to see if I could make some friends at a local bar and experience how intense the nightlife of Dumaguete can get. So I went to Tiki Bar, bought a drink, and talked to the biggest group of people that I could find. There's no better way to wake up in the morning than jumping into the ice-cold, crystal-blue waters of Palaipai Falls. We just met Brian and Natsu here at Palaipai Falls and we finally found a place to go cliff diving. It's about 8 meters high and 8 meters deep, so it's safe to dive. Woo! exhilarating thing that I have ever done. My legs were shaking and I wasn't sure if I was going to do it, but then I just thought this is how I should be living my life and I jumped. How did you feel? Nervous. Yeah, nervous? Yeah. How many times have you done this? A couple of times, but I cannot live up the... Yeah, the nerves never leave, I can imagine. Uh. Balaipai Falls also has a natural water slide created from years of flowing water. It truly is a natural pleasure. After the falls, you can check into Tierra Alta Resort, inspired by the beautiful Santorini. Relax amongst your amenities and experience the exotic Greek architecture. The next stop is a nearby municipality that is home to one of my favorite animals. It's a bit bouncy right now because we're on a hanging bridge on our way to a wildlife sanctuary here in Santa Catalina where they have the long-tailed Philippine macaca, or locally known as ungoy, basically monkeys. It's 
no shock that monkeys love to eat bananas. But having a monkey climb on you like you're a tree is a surreal experience. <laughs> nice one. That gets you up close and personal with the natural wildlife of the Philippines. Feeding the monkeys can trigger your own hunger and lead you to Hotel Mayfin, where you can taste their delicacies and check in for the night. If you're not feeling sleepy quite yet, enjoy a stroll down Bayawan Boulevard, one of the longest boulevards in the Philippines. In the nearby municipality of Seattle, I checked into Antolang Beach Resort. The resort is situated on the face of a cliff overlooking the endless ocean. Hi. Welcome aboard, sir. Thank you. Here is where I befriended a group of locals who asked me to join them on a river cruise. Of course, I said yes, and off we went. I enjoyed the scenery and ate food with my newfound friends. We decided to continue our joint adventure and head to Balanan Lake Mountain Resort, part of the municipality of Siata. Balanan Lake Mountain Resort is known to cater to the adventure seekers, offering zip lines from one end of the lake to the other. This is my first time ever doing a zip line. It's 350 meters long across Balanan Lake. Check it out. 100% sure this is safe? Okay, okay, okay. Don't reply. Stop for this Okay, bye! It's an exciting way to enjoy the magnificent views and fresh mountain breeze. It's exhilarating, heart pumping, and exciting, all while having an amazing view of Banana Lake. <laughs> nice one! <laughs> From the paradise of Siaton to the paradise of Darwin, Munting Paraiso is a high end resort that translates to little paradise. It's located in the picturesque seaside town of Darwin and fosters wellness and relaxation in a serene tropical setting. Another way to jumpstart your morning is with a great cup of Highland Brew coffee. Hi. Nice to meet you. Hi. Tony. Hi, Marouille. Good morning. Good morning. I've heard that you have amazing coffee here. Yeah, welcome to Baslai Highland Brew coffee. Can you tell us about what kind of coffee you have here? Yeah, we have three... Uh, three species of coffee. We have the uh, Arabica, the Robusta and Liberica, but we are planning to propagate this uh, fourth kind of coffee, which is the Ixinsa. Okay, yeah. can you show me around? Yeah. Cool. This is our coffee forest. Mm -hmm. We call it coffee forest because we do not grow it as a monocrop. Uh -huh. We grow it uh, integrated with, with another another trees because uh -huh. this is integral part of our coffee plantation okay and the difference is when you grow a coffee on the open area with only coffee no trees no birds no bees this is, those are not a good coffee uh -huh. but here as you can see our coffee is under the forest so everything is involved and they are working for us the wildlife I mean this is sustainable coffee biodiversity yeah. because we emphasize the importance of biodiversity. Mm. And it makes for better quality coffee at yes. the end of the day, right? Yeah. yeah. If you're a coffee lover like me, the Robusta coffee in Negros is a pleasant treat that will bring your taste buds to life. Cheers. It tastes strong. Strong taste of coffee. A big part of being a Filipino is buying pasalubo, which is buying a present for your loved ones back home. Negros Oriental Arts and Heritage offers a wide range of high-end, authentic products for all tastes. They offer everything from beautifully crafted tables made from colorful gems to giant seashells. Hello? Tony speaking. Hello? 
The items are handcrafted by specialists, whom undergo a tedious process of transforming raw gemstones into beautiful pieces of art. The final pieces are smoothened and polished to perfection, forming a unique product of the highest quality. A highlighted feature of Negros is the San Agustin Church of Baco. Its main attraction is the ancient pipe organ that was imported from Spain in 1894. The San Agustin Church has been declared a national historical treasure, and the quality of its preservation is a reminder of this. I could feel the church emitting an aura of appreciation for the Filipino culture and religion. A great place to discover my Filipino side is Subida. They offer traditional Filipino toys and sustainable souvenirs. Learning how to use traditional Filipino toys gave me an insight into how different my life would be if I had grown up in the Philippines. If I didn't have Netflix, this is exactly what I would be doing. <laughs> it was also a whole lot of fun, but not everything was easy to use. Just nearby, Manhattan Suites Inn provides the perfect location, right in the city center with easy access to the boulevard and the tasty treats of Dumaguete. Afterwards, head over to San Rival Bistro, a restaurant facing the beautiful ocean. It's the perfect place to spend some quality time with your friends and family while sharing a delicious meal. Next door, you can find the Sans Rival Cakes and Pastries, famous for their signature desserts that showcase the sweet taste of what Negros has to offer. This is the famous Sans Rival and Salvanas, and they are definitely a must-try when you come here in Dumaguete. I have to admit that when I left Negros Oriental, I bought six boxes of these for friends and family back home, because they had to know how good it tastes. In the days that I've spent here, I've experienced the Filipino nature, made friends with locals, ate unique delicacies, and so, so much more. In conclusion, I would say that exploring Negros Oriental has really given me the chance to know what it's like to feel 100% Filipino. And I know that the experiences that I have had here will stick with me for a lifetime.